For weeks, Brazil has been consumed by allegations of corruption and bribery at the highest level, involving politicians and business leaders. Não há política. On the streets of Rio, São Paulo and dozens of other cities, protesters laid the blame at the door of President Dilma Rousseff. Every day there is a new scandal. Every day there is something related to money being taken out of the country. And we look at the hospitals and we look at the educational system and we look at all the security thing and everything is really bad. Urging people onto the streets, these protesters want President Rousseff removed from office. And while that's unlikely to happen anytime soon, it does reflect a growing sense of anger with this unprecedented corruption scandal. The president's been putting a brave face on it, recently inaugurating some of Rio's Olympic projects and saying the scandal's nothing to do with her. But for almost a decade, she was chair of the board at Petrobras. The state-controlled oil giant, once valued at more than 200 billion pounds and the engine behind Brazil's economic growth. Now, dozens of senior figures stand accused of running a huge kickback scheme, awarding multi-million dollar contracts at Petrobras in return for massive bribes. So it's not good for her. It's not good for her. The, the faster she gets things organized in Petrobras, puts Petrobras back into the business section of newspapers away from the, from the criminal pages, uh, the, the better it's going to be for her government. Brazil's already teetering on the brink of recession. Big projects have been mothballed and thousands of workers have been laid off. Petrobras is also being pursued in the international courts by British and American pension funds and corporate investors for billions of dollars in damages. The victims, as far as we're concerned, are the investors and that's what our duty is to try to both get back money for investors, see if we can also institute corporate governance reforms to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. With her approval ratings at a record low and more protests planned, this is certain to be a tough year for President Rousseff. Wura Davis, BBC News, Rio.